What's up you guys out here at International Motor Show Inter International Motorcycle Show Dallas, Texas and um, Got my leg over a 2022 Harley Davidson Sportster S. This one's got the front controls white on the black um, Bunch of buttons. This guy was laying it out for me really nicely um, He's riding a Sportster S as well How's that clutch feel? Ooh, I'm not used to front controls. Super cool event. They're letting us go with nobody leading us. Uh, just following the orange arrows. Like what you can see right here. The brake feels good. He was telling me on this bike, uh, it's actually got linked brakes now. So this uh, this front lever actually does both front and rear brakes. This low wing power doesn't feel bad. That mirror is all sorts of whack. There we go. I'm not used to having front controls. It's got really good power. I don't like that uh, blinker button. Feels weird. It doesn't have like a a feeling when it engages the blinker. Shifter has a lot of throw on it too. really bad. This thing is really, really quiet. Man, when have you ever seen a Harley that would rev to 8,000 RPMs? Holy crap. And it feels like 
like it gets really, really powerful once you pass about 6,000 RPMs and you get into what feels like almost a VTEC. It just it pulls really hard, really good too. And I think this is another first time for Harley putting a digital dash and a six-speed transmission on any of their bikes. And I know it's the first for the sports. I mean, this is this is actually a really premium product for the price. Uh, at hold on. The 22 Sportster is at 15.3 out the door. That's a really good price for a brand new motorcycle with a 1250cc motor in it. These mirrors, they're not really all that bad. Um, really visible. Another rider group right there. I think that's the Kawasaki group. These mirrors, they don't shake a whole lot. Got really good visibility out of them. They're not really in the way. Another thing is the guy was showing us when we first got on the lines. He got adjustable from factory clutch and brake levers, which is that's a really premium product for, you know, a $15,000 bike. The cruising speed, or cruising RPM, I'm going 67 miles an hour right now, sitting at about 37, 3,800 RPMs. I'm getting a lot of wind right to the middle of the chest, right to the helmet. I mean, I'm assuming y'all can hear it, but it's smooth. <laughs> you can't feel the, the Harley chop or the Harley rumble or anything like that. It's just, it's... It's a nice, comfortable bike to ride. It edge brakes really hard though. Tram goes in there. You let go of the handlebar, the closest throttle, and it feels like it's just laying over the brakes. I do kind of wish that shifter was a little bit tighter. quickly you can go the same ground. It just get response. Let's do this thing from rain mode to sport mode. So I've been riding in the rain mode that whole time. That's another really cool thing that Harley's doing. Um, I know on my MT-09 if I wanted to change modes I've got to close the throttle and pull the clutch in. Harley is just on the wire. They're on the fly. Ooh. I guess we were following them and we made a wrong turn. But no, I mean, this mode button, it's right here above your uh, throttle hand. If you decide you want sport mode to get around somebody, it's right there and ready for you. I'm not going for that. I'm not that comfortable on this clutch yet. This works. Suspension is a little bit tough. You get to some of those bigger bumps and you feel it. Oh, 
know this engine has so much torque. That's that's really surprising with this bike and just how hard it pulls. And it just it goes. It reminds me a lot of the MT09 down low in the RPM range. It just once you give it throttle, if you're in the low enough gear, or if it's just right in that sweet spot of the RPMs, it just it, it goes. It goes good. I do like this white on bronze and black color scheme a lot more than I like the red one that's right there. And I'm really excited to see what these bikes sound like with the exhaust on. What's up you guys? So I did not realize that halfway through that ride my SD card that I had in my GoPro was full so you didn't catch the tail end of that ride but it wasn't a whole lot. It was just us getting up on the highway but um, that bike from the 17 miles that I rode it honestly changed my mind on what I thought Harleys were. That bike had a great torque curve on it. That new motor that they were doing is really surprising. Um, I don't think it will replace this bike, but I have not ridden the Sportster that has the mid control motor. That might be a big game changer. I'm not much for front controls. I don't feel like I have as much control over the bike with front controls. But I really enjoyed that bike, aside from the shift control.